To get the most out of this video, you should already have an account with Amazon Web Services, have signed up for Amazon CloudFront, be familiar with Amazon S3, and have an interest in reducing content delivery latency. We will be creating an Amazon S3 bucket, uploading an object to that bucket, creating an Amazon CloudFront download distribution, and linking to the object. But first, what is Amazon CloudFront? Let's compare Amazon CloudFront to the traditional web serving model. Suppose you were serving a graphic file from a traditional web server. Your end users can easily navigate to this URL and see the image that it returns. In this example, your web server is in Seattle, Washington, USA, and an end user makes a request to this URL from Austin, Texas, USA. This trace route shows how this request is routed. As you can see, the request was routed to 10 different networks before the image was retrieved. This is not an unusually high number of requests, but it does illustrate how much work is needed to retrieve even a single image. This is where Amazon CloudFront can help. By using Amazon CloudFront to distribute your data, you can dramatically decrease the routing needed. If you serve this image using CloudFront, the download distribution would detect where a request is being made and copy the file to a nearby edge location. This improves performance and users get lower latency the time it takes to load the first byte of the object, and higher data transfer rates. If serving a request for the same file for another user results in the lowest latency for that user, it will be served from the same edge location. You also get increased reliability and availability because there's no longer a central point of failure. Copies of your object are now held in edge locations around the world. Now let's set up a download distribution with Amazon CloudFront. Creating a bucket. First, we create an Amazon S3 bucket to store our object or file. We will be using an image file for our object. Navigate to the S3 tab of the AWS Management Console. Click Create Bucket. Give your bucket a unique name. By default, an Amazon S3 bucket is placed in the U.S. Standard Region. You can select another region closest to your end user base. For this video, we will leave it as is. A bucket must have a unique name across all AWS bucket names. Click Create. Your new bucket will now be listed in the console. Adding an object. Click on the bucket we just created, then click the Upload button. Click on Add Files and then select an image file from your computer. Click Open. Click the Start Upload button. Once the file is uploaded, it will appear in the console. The file must be publicly readable, so right-click on the file and select Make Public, then click OK. Creating a distribution. Now we'll create a download distribution. Click on the CloudFront tab in the console, then click on the Create Distribution button. The Create Distribution wizard will appear. Select the Download Radio button, then select the bucket you just created from the Select Bucket drop-down list. You can add a C name and other parameters for your distribution, but we won't be doing that in this video. Click Continue. Check your settings, then click Create Distribution. You have successfully created your distribution. Click Close. Your distribution may take a few minutes to be ready. Once ready, its status will change from In Progress to Deployed. Linking to an object. Return to the Amazon S3 tab in the console. Right-click on the file you uploaded and select Properties. Click on the link to the object. This will open it in your browser. Copy the URL from the browser's location bar and then paste it into an HTML image tag. Navigate back to the Amazon CloudFront tab, then click on your new distribution. Copy the domain name of your distribution and use it to replace the domain name of the URL of your file in your HTML document. Save your file. Open the file in your browser. The image will now be served from an edge location that provides the lowest latency for you.